Hey everyone, Siddharthus here. In this video, I'll be going over how to add a mods gear to an expansion trader. If you want to learn how to make your own trader area and NPC, check out the video in the corner. The expansion wiki has a community collection of market files for various mods, but for this video, I'll be creating the market files from scratch. With these files, syntax is very important. So if your files aren't formatted correctly, they will be wiped clean when you start your server. I'll put a link in the description for an online JSON validator. So in order to add items from a mod to a trader, we need to know the class names of the items that the mod adds to the game. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Windstrider clothing pack. And I know the class names are located on my server under the server name, and then under the at Windstrider clothing pack folder. Different mods may store these files in different areas. For this mod, I've already sorted these class names based on which slots they go in. Now we can add items to the traders in a few different ways. The easiest is to just add the class names to an existing category. For example, we can add the Windstrider slouch hat to the hats and hoods market file. Let's go to the bottom of the file and then duplicate the previous entry. And then replace the class name with one from our sorted list. And here we can adjust the price. Just so we know, let's find out which trader JSON file contains the hats and hoods category. That should be the clothing accessories JSON file. And we can see that it has the hats and hoods category. Then we can check for the trader.map file that references the clothing and accessories JSON. In this case, I know there's one in the green mountain traders file. And here we see that it's Maria. And this is what she's wearing. So we can identify her in game. Another method you could use to add items is to build your own categories for them. Let's start by duplicating an existing market file. And rename it to Windstrider Gear. And we'll open it up. Change the display name. And we'll clear out the contents, except for one, so we have something to build from. This example, I will add a category for each type of shemag. first class name we put in the main part of an entry determines which icon the player will see in the trader menu. In any items in the variant section, players see an option to select a variant in the trader menu. So this new category we made needs to be assigned to a trader. So let's open up our black market trader from our previous video. And under categories, we can add the file name of the category we just made and then add a one so players can buy and sell items from this category. And after we've validated all the JSON files we've made edits to, we can start the server and load into the game.
We can teleport over to our black market trader. And interact with her. She should have the new category we just made. And then if we teleport over to Green Mountain, we can find the clothing and accessories trader. And we can see the Windstrider gear that we added. Well, I hope this was helpful. I really do enjoy making these videos for you all. So if you can, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks.